Hi guys, this is Liz and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. So yes, this is a very special video. This is not a review, okay? But this is an educational video, okay? So that's what I call it. So we're going to talk about the right glutathione dosage for whitening and the right glutathione dosage for antioxidant and anti-aging. So yes, without further ado, let's start. Yes guys, based on the title of the video, we're going to talk about the effective glutathione dosage for whitening and the effective glutathione dosage for antioxidant and for anti-aging. So I just read this three days ago and when I read it, it was really a life-changing, okay, so to speak. Because I've been taking glutathione capsules since 2015 and it was only three days ago that I learned that there is some kind of a right dosage for whitening purpose okay, for whitening purposes and for antioxidant or anti-aging so we have to have that right dosage for for it to be effective okay so if you want to to have fair skin then if you don't have the right dosage then you won't achieve the skin that you really want okay by the way guys just to be clear everything that i'm going to share with you today is based on my research and i have put the uh, links down below to where i found or when i where i learned this information okay so just to be clear hindi ko po to inimbento at hindi ko po to gawa -gawa lang, okay so let's start as you know naman na there are a lot of us that that really wants to have fair skin okay and of course it's not bad to have a morena skin or moreno okay filipino po tayo so that is fine it's just that may kanya kanya po tayong preference so nirerespeto po natin yan if you want to have you know a morena skin that's fine, okay? Kung gusto mo maputi, okay, go lang, okay? Kung ano lang po talaga ang treat natin. So let's go sa tamang dosage sa anti-aging and antioxidant. So, let's make an example of a 50 kilogram na female, okay? And then, paano nga ba ito compute All you have to do is multiply it to 10 milligrams of glutathione. So, example is 50 kilograms times 10 milligrams, that is 500 milligrams of dosage, okay? This means you need to take 500 milligrams of glutathione every day para sa anti-aging and antioxidant purposes. So, usually naman marami sa mga glutathione capsules ngayon na talagang ganun yung dosage nila. So, hindi ka na talagang mahihirapan. So, that's how you compute it. So, depende sa weight natin. Um, if ever naman na 60 yung kilograms mo, then all you have to do is, is multiply it. 60 kilograms times 10 milligrams. So that is 600 milligrams of glutathione dosage para ma-achieve natin yung gusto natin, which is an antioxidant activity and an anti-aging. Okay? Yan yun siya. So medyo mababa lang when it comes to anti-aging and antioxidant. And ang maganda kasi naman talaga sa antioxidant is talagang, you know, nililinis niya ang loob mo. Alam mo naman, di ba, yung glutathione, it cleanses your your body, it removes the toxins, so, yun ang purpose niya. So, kung meron ka ng 500 milligrams every day ng glutathione, then achieve na natin yun, okay? Ngayon naman, let's go sa whitening purposes. Maraming mga babae or some other guys that really want to have a fair skin. But, of course, as I mentioned kanina, if you want naman morena, moreno, then that's fine, okay? So, itong whitening ang medyo need, okay, ng mas marami. As I mentioned my previous video, ang glutathione kasi, or ang pagpapaputi effect, is just an excess, alright? Glutathione is no is no longer an alien or something na different sa ating body. It's just there, okay? Kaya lang, kapag nasasobran tayo ng inom or tinitake, yung excess nun ang nagiging pagpapaputi. Okay? Yon. So, kailangan mas marami. So, example naman natin yung 50 kilograms na babae. So, 50. And then, how much ba dapat yung milligrams? So, it could be 20 milligrams or 30 milligrams or 40 milligrams. So, for this example, I'm going to take the median. So, the median will be the 30 milligrams. So, example is the 50 kilograms times 30 milligrams. So, that would be 1,500 milligrams of glutathione every day. So, the question is, Liz, am I going to take that 1,500 milligrams of glutathione in one gulp of water? 
Hmm. Of course not, baby. Okay, of course not. All you have to do is just divide it by three. So you take 500 milligrams of glutathione in the morning, another 500 milligrams at noon, and another 500 milligrams in the evening. So what's suggested is that, I mean, better talaga na itake ang glutathione 30 minutes before meal on an empty stomach. Okay, so it could be 30 minutes before meal or 30 minutes after meal. So, if acidic naman ikaw, then just take it after meal na lang para hindi mga yung iyong chan. Okay? And it is also important guys, if you're taking glutathione, you also have to take vitamin C. Because vitamin C is a really good booster of glutathione. Okay? Partner talaga yan sila. So, the dosage for your vitamin C is equal to your glutathione or should exceed your glutathione dosage para mas effective at para mas maboost niya si glutathione. Yes. So, yun lang guys. Thank you so much for panunood. I hope that you learned something. Everything na nakita ko o na research ko about this nandun sa description down below. So, just check it. Okay? So, that's it guys. Bye for now.